Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and this is the new NECA Halloween 2018 Ultimate Michael Myers figure, which includes a light up flickering pumpkin. Oh, yeah. But, um,. Let's take a look at the packaging here for this figure. Got the uh, the poster art for Halloween 2018 there on the cover. Here is the side of the box. Other side. Top of the box. Seeing a lot of that same image there. Bottom of the box with all of the credits, etc. And the, the instructions on how to use the light up. A uh, flickering pumpkin, apparently. <laughs> and here is the back of the box with Michael. There you see Michael with his butcher knife. You see Michael with the the head of the one cop that he turned into a uh, jack-o'-lantern. You see the Judith Myers uh, coffin there. There's that flickering pumpkin. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's Halloween. It's been 40 years since Laurie Strode survived a vicious attack from crazed killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. She now faces a terrifying showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield. But this time, Laurie is ready for him. Okay. It includes knife, hammer, fire poker, tombstone, victim head, light up pumpkin, uh, interchangeable head, and hands. So, a lot of stuff in here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Take a look at it. There is Michael on the porch of, that looks like the Myers house, although the Myers house doesn't make an appearance in uh, Halloween 2018. And uh, there's the figure. I uh, got uh, two heads for Michael. Uh, you've got the pumpkin, uh, decapitated pumpkin head cop guy head. You've got the pumpkin. You've got four hands. Very nice. Over here is his weaponry, the hammer, the knife, the poker. And there's Michael himself. So without further ado, let's go ahead. And uh, open this package up, and uh, let's get hands-on with 2018 Michael Myers. All right, there we go. Let's see, what is the background here inside the box? Oh, it's just the, uh, it's the empty doorway of the, uh, well, this is, this kind of looks more like, um, the the other house from uh the original halloween uh the house where annie was babysitting with the the the, the door like that that Lori bashes out one of the, the the little panes of glass and escapes but oh well <clears throat> here is the figure outside of the box and uh let's check out let's check out uh Ooh, let's check out the tombstone first, shall we? All right, here is the Judith Myers tombstone. Our beloved daughter, Judith Myers, born November 10th, 1947, died October 31st, 19... What year is that? 60... 19... 63. Okay, 1963. Pretty uh, good size uh, tombstone here. Uh, as far as height, not really width, but um, it's got a good base on it, so it should stand up well if you choose to display it outside of the box. But there is the Judith Myers tombstone. Here is the more weathered. Uh, Michael Head, as you can see, the mask is pretty weathered there, pretty, uh, pretty gnarly looking. A lot of flesh tone there around the neck. There's the, uh, there's the damage from the uh, sewing needle 
that uh, Laurie inflicted toward the end of the first film. Hair's still looking good. It's a 40-something-year-old mask, but the hair is still... Hair's still looking good. No bald spots or anything. But, uh, yeah. Not bad. Some pretty nice detail in the mask there. Here is the pumpkin head... <laughs> decapitated um cop's head and uh, yeah that's pretty pretty nasty there and uh yeah michael definitely uh michael definitely did a number on this guy i will say that um one thing halloween 2018 did get right i think was michael's sixth sense of humor um from the first film if you recall Michael putting the uh, the bed sheet on with the uh, the one guy's glasses, and of course in Halloween 2018 he drops the the teeth <laughs> uh, over the stall where the uh, the uh, the female investigative journalist quote unquote was uh, trying to take a uh, potty break, uh, <laughs> and of course uh, we get the. You know, this cop who, after he was opining with his partner about uh, about food, about deli meat or whatever it was, um, he got his head chopped off and turned into a uh, human jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, pretty, pretty nasty, pretty gnarly. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, here is the pumpkin. As you can see, there is eyes have been cut into hearts um, on the back of him. He's got this little thing sticking out where the uh, where the battery is. We'll go ahead and pull that out. And then if you depress the uh, his whoop, there we go. If you depress his his stock or whatever, uh, there you've got uh, the flickering light inside of him. And then you depress it again, and it goes off. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice detail on the pumpkin. Yeah, pretty cool. The flickering light jack-o'-lantern accessory. We've got some hands here. This is a bloody hand. Got a wound there. On the top of the hand, it is um, ready for holding a knife or uh, a hammer or, I guess, a poker. Uh, here's the other hand. It's got some blood on it, too. Looks like a wound there. It also ready to hold some sort of uh, weapon. Here we have another hand, this one open. Got some blood on it. Got uh, got a couple of wounds on it. Bloody palm. It's palm read, Michael. Here. Oh, your uh, your lifeline is really long there, Michael. Really long. And lastly, we've got the the uh, <laughs> shotgunned hand. Uh, where Lori shoots him, shoots his, blows off his, his, uh, ring finger and his pinky finger with her shotgun. Ouch. So yeah, that's, um, yeah, that had to hurt a little bit. And here we've got our weapons. Here is the poker. It looks nice and, and rusty. nice detail on the poker we have the bloody hammer that michael used to beat the woman to death uh while she was fixing a uh, while she was sitting down to eat a ham sandwich i mean poor woman she you know made herself a ham sandwich she sat down to eat her ham sandwich and michael shows up with the hammer and just you know <sighs> poor woman but um yeah Guess it had to be done. Old hammer, the, the handle on it's very old and weathered looking. And of course, the head is covered in blood. Very nice.
And we've got Michael's tried and true, the old faithful butcher knife. And a pretty clean butcher knife. I have to say, Michael, Michael's taking good care of this one. He's kept it clean. But uh, yeah, Michael's very clean uh, butcher knife. And here is Michael himself. Take a look at that weathered old nasty mask. Very nice. You can see his eyes in there a little bit too. Uh, not sure how much that is picking up on the camera. But uh, of course he's got the one dead eye <laughs> and the one good eye. But uh, let's check out his, uh, his jumpsuit here. His mechanic suit pretty nice boots boots are pretty clean the outfit's pretty clean overall i have to say the back of the figure Let's check out the posability. He's a little tight, but loosen up. He just needs some physical therapy is all. Limber him up a little bit. Oh, his knees are tight. Oh, he's got rigor mortis sitting his, <laughs> in his knees. That's going to take some serious physical therapy right there on these old man knees of Michael Myers. Jeez, oh, Pete. His feet also move just a little bit. Let's check out his hands. Yeah, got some blood on the hands. Pretty, pretty clean hands uh, as far as, uh, you know, no, uh, no wounds on them, but they're definitely, uh, definitely bloody. Very nice. Ooh, this one's very, very bloody. Dig that. Very, very bloody hand. Either that or he's been eating cherry pie. Who knows? Michael's a wild one. Very bloody hand. Yes. Yeah, figure is pretty cool. Uh, got some nice detail in the mask. Again, nice detail in the hair. The hair, the mask is very, very old, but the hair has stayed put. Always a good thing. And uh, the outfit. The outfit is very clean, but the outfit looks very nice here. Yes. Boots are very cool. Love the bloody hands. Very nice. All right, let's try let's try switching out the hands. This is always the hard part here when you start switching out the head and the hands on these figures. It can be um it can be painful. So let's switch out this hand for the shotgun hand and see how difficult it is to uh, get this hand off. It's on there good. Yep, it's on there very good. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's get the shotgun hand. Line up the peg with the hole. And, oh, man. Okay. All right, I think I, yep, it's on there. All right, I got the shotgun hand on there. It wasn't that difficult. The little peg was very loose inside. So getting it to uh, stay still so I could force the, uh, the hand on was not uh, was not easy, but um, yeah, came on there. I've 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 encountered much tougher, uh, much tougher hands to put on when it comes to these ultimate figures. So let's try the head. Let's pop on uh, the other more weathered uh, mask here or head. See how easily this head comes off. Oh, just popped right off. Very nice. Hopefully this head will pop on just as easily. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. Yep, it's on there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, here is the other hand holding the bloody hammer with the shotgun hand off. Michael's like, I was building my kid a tree house and... I missed the nail and my pinky finger and ring finger exploded. I hit it so hard. 
They just exploded. They're gone. Now my hammer's covered in blood. All right, so here's Michael with uh, the other hand gripping his uh, butcher knife. And in the opposite hand, he's still got the bloody hammer. So he's ready to go cut some lunch meat and then tenderize it with the bloody hammer. Here's Michael holding the uh, poker because he's going to start a fire. So here's Michael holding his trusty butcher knife in one hand and the decapitated jack-o'-lantern uh, cop's head in the other. I think this is how I'm going to pose Michael, um, holding the butcher knife in one hand and the decapitated cop's head jack-o'-lantern uh, in the other. So this is the new NECA Halloween 2018 Ultimate Michael Myers figure. I'll post some up close and personal uh, images as well as video of this guy at the end of the video. So stick around for that. If you picked up this uh, figure from NECA, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.
join the a buck a month club and help support my channel on patreon thank you to my current patrons kevin smythe orc 14560